I'm Leo Katz. I'm a professor at the University of Pennsylvania Law School. The title of my book is Why the Law is So Perverse. The book tries to explore four questions. Um, first, why does the law spurn? Why does the law ban win-win transactions? Uh, arrangements that would be beneficial all around? That's the first question it addresses. The second, why is the law so replete with loopholes? They're everywhere, can't seem to root them out, we don't like them, and, and yet there they are. The third question is, why is the law so rigid? Why is it either or? Why is everything either a contract or not a contract? The defendant is either guilty or not guilty. Often we think that an in-between verdict would be better, but the law doesn't give in-between verdicts. And finally, um, why is the law so reluctant to punish a lot of stuff that we actually harshly condemn, are strongly disapproving of, ingratitude being the extreme example? Well, what the book does is to uh, link up these paradoxes of social choice theory, these perversities of social choice theories with the perversities of the law. Turns out that there's an intimate but easily overlooked connection. That in some sense, most of the things that strike us as strange or paradoxical or illogical or perverse about the law are just reincarnations of these strange, illogical features, surprising features that we find in voting rules. Um, and uh, what the book tries to do is to uncover what the, what the logical perversity that is well understood from the voting rules context is that underlies the the perversity that we find in the law. The conclusion that, then dri that drives one to about the law is a, an admittedly somewhat pessimistic one. It's that the things that disturb us the most about the law um, are probably not things that we can actually eradicate. And what, these, what the study of, what the, what, what, what the exploration of the connection between the, the paradoxes of social choice and the perversities of law tries to do is to show why that is.